Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm on holiday at my playhouse I have three weeks of summer vacation so I'm gonna try to take it easy today I'm still gonna keep up with videos so um, me having holiday just means that I only have to uh, maintain my YouTube job but over here I have my lawnmower the robot lawnmower and it has been misbehaving it has decided to uh, to run and then when it hits something it usually just stops so I think that maybe I have dismounted the battery the battery sits here I have dismounted that I think I might have a bad connection in the battery so I'm gonna go I'll bring that to the basement and dismantle the battery and see what we can do I have another little project that I've been working on without filming anything and that's um, I made a pool down here um, just because it's so bloody hot right now so I thought that I needed a, a pool to um, to jump into when it was um, too hot so I was I was building this fish tank that's a couple of years old some years old and um, well it wasn't ready for the fishes so me and a buddy of mine Jonas uh, we put this top in and uh, I've just filled it up with water and I built a little cleaning station here it pumps up the water from the, this black hose goes in here the the middle thing here is for me to take this sunshade thing that is leaning up against the tree uh, that can go in the middle and uh, provide shade to the little pool here I have another top over it at night so that I don't get as much debris from the trees and stuff yesterday it was the wind was blowing really badly so I had all kind of crap come in the pool while I was in it I usually take this piece of wood I should have removed that before I started the video it looks better without it Urgh. out of the picture so that's how it looks uh, the pump system is my old booster pump this one it um, it has a faulty thinky up here the, the thing that is to turn it off when the pressure reaches okay um, so as it's it never pressurizes the system here it's it's okay for this so it, it pumps up the water from the black holes and puts the water out into this thing which is a filter box it's actually the filter box for my fish pond over there but it hasn't been working for quite a while it gets really disgusting down here really fast I'll open this up okay it, uh, it just pulls the water out into these uh, foam things and all the debris uh, goes away because there's a lot of foam in here so um, it seems to be okay I think we can yeah you can see the water coming out there it's a good amount of water being filtered so, so I'm borrowing the fish tank and the fish, fish filter I did have a fish pump for this and I was cleaning that the booster pump uses a lot of power compared to a normal fish um, pump but when I was cleaning up the fish pump I am um, I got electrocuted or I could feel that this is not good so I uh, dumped that idea again so yeah, it, it looks really good I have a thermometer thermometer in here as well down here let's see if I can catch that the water temperature is just over 20 degrees Celsius uh, which is it's, it's kind of nice I like it to be 22 I cheated the other day I have um, over here I have a hose coming up that's the water from the well in the basement but the water coming out of that basement is like 12 degrees let's call that cold um, so I put 12 degrees Celsius cold water in here and after waiting for it all day it, it had risen up to about 17 degrees and uh, that was still too cold but then I realized that I do actually have 
solar collectors up here on the roof. So all of my hot water is right now being made by the sun. Uh, I should really fix that. I did a video on fixing that one over there. I never got to do that one. So that is exposed and old and shitty. So to do that, remember that. Um, so my water, if it's cold or if it's hot, it's the same price at the moment. I do also need to cut that because it's it's shading quite a lot. It doesn't matter. It produces way more hot water than I can use right now. So, but at the end of this good weather, I might want to do that. But I hooked into that water and I, I pulled in 70 degrees hot um, and I got the pool up to 22 degrees and that was nice and comfy. So um, yeah, I've been working on that project. I have never had a pool before, so it's my first pool. So I also put in some chlorine every day. Uh, something that I think Onky Joe said that um, you can take some, uh, this is like cleaning this something. It smells like pool when you put it in. So I put a, a glass of that in every day to kill germs in there. So um, I'm not going to be using the pool for a long time. I'm just going to be using these, these three weeks while I'm um, vacationing up here. And after that, I'm going to take it apart again, mm. pump out the water and just, um, I don't want to have a pool here at winter. It's, it's too much work. But we're going to take the battery down into the basement and uh, see if we can find out why it cuts out all the time maybe resolder everything just to see if that might help on a bad connection or something there is a certain someone that has been making a bloody mess down here he, uh, he made a nice wall over here this person and make this shelf look really good but he made a bloody mess on the table and it's all dusty and stuff so uh, I'll just clean that up for him so that um, it looks nice Here is actually the system for the hot water that um, is being made on the solar panels on the roof. Right now the temperature in the water on the roof is 63 degrees Celsius and I have 46 degrees in the bottom of or middle of my uh, storage tank. So there is quite enough water for a good long warm shower. So Nice! Over here at the table, I have now uh, removed the screws from the battery, so we should be able to pop that up. And this looks exactly how I made it, so everything I think looks good. So, hmm. Let's measure a little bit on this. Okay, let's get the battery out of here. It uh, kind of pops out, so we can get rid of this. And it sits this way. And uh, don't short circuit anything modern. So I have put some tape on it to protect the leads and stuff. So I'm going to just remove that so I can measure on the individual cells. Uh, it's not especially good soldering. I admit that. So, okay. Let's uh, let's measure this. We should have three point something. Three point eight. That's about right. Three point six ish. It's hard to get a connection up here. 3.8 okay I think the best I can do is just to try and and resolder everything and uh, hope that I hit something good okay I have been over all of the connections with the soldering iron so we're gonna put this I'm just gonna just gonna trim this little thing uh, it's now sticking out in a, and that one Take there looks just as good just as bad as before um, I think I want to um, resort of this 
thingy as well. This is the connector where it gets its power and temperature sensor. I don't think it's bad, but oh, I don't wanna. If I don't have to take this apart too often, it would be cool. I've already had the lawnmower apart five times or something like that. Okay, so I have kind of resorted this. Yeah, it's not good, but it's it's better. I hope. Let's measure this. I disconnected the fuse here just to be sure that uh, it wouldn't do anything too stupid. Okay, that's about it, I think. So I have uh, put everything back together. Now we're gonna put on the case here. And see how that works. So we're gonna be putting the battery back in. Before I can test the lawnmower, I have to remove this power cable to the pump down here. And this garden hose, it has already ruined one garden hose. So yeah, doing that. Oh yeah, this was the pump that I was uh, cleaning in the bathtub and just wanted to turn on to make sure that it wasn't dirty inside. Uh, when I realized that <clears throat> it had an, a bit of an electric current to it, uh, it was not a good place to be in the bathtub when um, running this and it's not being good. I have kind of removed the cable so I'm gonna take oh, the lawnmower here and we're gonna put it somewhere. Oh this, this lawn looks so tired. So let's power it on. Oh, still power on it. Cool. Just punch in the code there. And it says it's outside the working area. That's because I have turned off the docking station and it needs there to be some signal in this cable for it to realize that it's okay to run. So we turn that on in the in the garage here. Over here is my little setup. Let's see if this will work. It will. Power's on there. Awesome, so it's producing 12 volt for the lawnmower. Nice. Let's go see if the robot has realized that or if I have to persuade it in some other way. I have no idea if this fix is gonna do anything good for it. Um, the grass has become a bit longer, so... Let's see when it hits something if it dies. Mm, it's still good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna continue my vacation here. Um, do join me over at Twitter, where I occasionally post uh, my progress on different projects, so um, that would be awesome. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.